Hello, hello, hello there. This is Lodurus here. Hope you're all doing well. I'm just doing a bit of fishing here at nighttime. Uh, you may be wondering where I am, and it may look familiar from the last episode. I do, speaking of the last episode, have to apologize for the bit of a mishap. That really, really did suck, actually. Ooh. I didn't get it. Um, by the way, I've been fishing to live and managed to pick up this rod. It's insane, and I love it. It's essentially indestructible. Um, if I could just get lure on here, it would be even better, but... Uh, if we can find a book, I'll, I'll do that. So yeah, apples and uh, fish are how I'm living. Because there's not a lot of food around here. Hey. Hi! Still need those ender pearls, so if you want to not take the dirt... Uh, get over here. Uh, good time. So I've been working on the cave here. Made a nice little area to get up. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Hi! Oh, oh. Oh, we're gonna die! Oh, we can't afford to die. We'll go right back to the spawn. Uh, eat. Eat, Lodorus. Eat like there is no tomorrow. And heal. You know what? Let's take this opportunity. We'll do a little tour, and then we'll meet back at, uh, base. Get. Get. There we go. So, uh, if you do recognize the area, it's the area just outside of the stronghold. Let's eat that apple and get better. Uh... The entranceway actually popped up here. I've been replacing the... It was all stone. I've been replacing it with dirt and grass. Um, just because it looks better. And actually, while I'm here, I want to do this. Because... Uh, this actually acts as a very nice gateway to oops, get up and down for the mobs. Ooh, arrows. I can use those. Um, and we're not a big fan of them coming in to kill me. I could just knock a block out, but I often fall down. So we're just gonna just throw that in as a little deterrent for them. Adds a little character. We can still get up and around if we need to. Uh, I've also been spamming torches to keep things away. Uh, as you can see, I built a little bridge. We'll go over there in a sec. Uh, I filled uh, this cave here with oak half slabs. Might put a chest or something in here just to spruce it up a bit, but I'm kind of having fun with the game. Still haven't grown all the grass here. Uh, kind of just having fun playing the game, building stuff, working on areas here and there. Just, you know, Minecraft fun. Uh, ooh, we got an Ender Pearl. We'll hang on to that. Uh, is there anything we want to take with us? Puffer fish, the glass bottle. The iron can stay here. Um, <clears throat> spider eyes, sorry as I clear my throat. The redstone I won't use here. The gold. The rotten flesh. Leather can stay. Let's take the sugar. We're going to take a different route back in case I find something. Um, books. Paper. Gunpowder. String. I think that's everything we need to bring back. Yeah, that's everything. But So yeah, let's take a, a look around here while we eat. Uh, so yeah, just covered the central cave in uh, stairs, cleaned it up a little, makes a nice little interesting walkway down. So I've got easy access down here, and then out to the water. Uh, there's another cave in the area I'm going to co uh, cover with uh, wood, a little uh, food source. Uh, this is where I've been growing trees for wood. <clears throat> Pardon me as I clear my throat again, guys. Uh, the bridge I built. Nothing amazing, it's just a bridge. Ooh, bone. Grab that. Grab that. And it leads up to just a simple little staircase. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to. Uh, dug straight up from the stronghold. The ladder leads actually just outside to the, the large room outside the uh, ba -da -ba 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 portal room. So that's good to know. I've still got a cave down there to finish exploring, I think. There's a cave there I gotta go. I want to check that out, actually, and I was thinking... I know I said I wasn't going to do any building, and that's pretty much the biggest lie I've told so far about the series. That area right there, I think I want to make a hovering kind of hanging house, but i got to figure out how to... if there's a way I can get in that area naturally, or if I'm going to have to dig one. We'll see. If I have to dig one, I'll probably use TNT. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to head back. I'm actually going to take this field uh, as a, a kind of a path. I'm hoping to find horses. We'll see, but I think 
for the most part, it's going to be a lot of extreme hills biomes. I can't remember. Uh, it's been a little while. I apologize. I usually bulk record like two, three episodes at a time. Oh, you don't heal even if... Oh, good to know. You don't heal unless you're fully fed. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head back to town. Well, town. We don't have a town. We have two towns near us. But we're going to head back home. Um, we're going to show off a bit what's the, uh, of the stuff around there. Um, pick up some supplies that we might need here. Uh, I also want to go back to the nether because I need to grab blaze rods. I may or may not take you with you, take you guys with me. Uh, for those of you who haven't played 1.9, actually, we're on 1.9.2, so they might have fixed it. We'll give it a shot, but the nether was terrible. I had such wretched frame rate lag. It was even just not like not recording. I had wretched frame rate frame rate lag. So, yeah, I'm hoping they fix that. So that is something worth checking out. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to explore this little plains biome for a sec, and that chunk's not loading. Uh, plains biome, plains biome, and uh, yeah, I will meet you guys back in our little home. And we're back, guys. So we're back at the old homestead. So things that I've done that were mentioned in the fifth episode that never existed and became the sixth. Anyway, so from the episode that was lost, uh, this is the house. Uh, built a little steps up here. I've been using that to farm monsters. Um, I had this really nice idea here. Again, uh, I don't know if this is I've mentioned this, but no, I didn't because I that was in the episode. That was lost. Oh man, this is so confusing. You have an episode and then you don't know what you've done. And you want to show off what you've done, but you don't remember what you've done. But you may remember that the portal for the nether was over here. Uh, it's in direct line of sight with the village. I'm thinking of building a tunnel uh, through that mountain to the village. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the oak slabs here as a way where I can just run up. But I do like the path blocks. Uh, and what I created here for the nether, uh, as you can see, was sort of inspired by the idea of uh, a little rift, uh, a dimensional bleed, if you will. Um, it was actually inspired by the Doorway to Hell, which is an actual thing in real life, just so you know. Um, it doesn't go to any kind of metaphysical mumbo-jumbo kind of hell thing. It's actually the name of a mistake geologists made. A um, bunch of Russian geologists out in, I believe it was Turkmenistan. I like the little pedestal I made, sorry. Um... Out in Turkmenistan, you know, had their fun, out looking for oil and gas, found some. Uh, sent their drills in, started burrowing, and happened to hit a large cavernous hole, which began spewing out methane. And so, as you can imagine, being the early, I believe late 60s, early 70s, mm -hmm. when it happened, uh, most people not knowing what global warming is, and that not really being a thing at the time, uh, the best answer they had to save people from the methane, because methane is actually quite toxic and dangerous in large quantities, although anything in large quantities is, but this is it's dangerous in smaller quantities than it is larger quantities. Anyway, point is, it was dangerous. So the geologists, in all their infinite wisdom, lit it on fire. They created the world's largest blue angel, folks. Um, we're going to need to sleep soon. Yeah, so it's a hole in the ground in Turkmenistan that is still burning to this day it's been 40 years still going strong uh, oh we forgot to put the rose bush back I was going to <clears throat> yes this leads off to the village uh, where I'm going to harvest hopefully more and more villagers hopefully better villagers I will totally murder the ones that uh, their offspring if they have any I don't think there's enough doors but anyway um, so yeah, that's my little story about the doorway to hell. Something really fascinating. You should probably look it up. Actually, before nighttime hits. Uh, so, built the hutch. Uh, this connects down to an area below. I get, wow, more eggs than I... I'll do that off camera. But I have more eggs than I know what to do with. So, I've just been kind of... Wow. I got a lot of chickens. Uh, made this happy little area for them as I whip eggs at them, you know. I, I'm loving that way. Love the animals. Anyway, just a happy little area. Uh, I didn't do much more because, uh, for those of you who don't know, with 1.9, creatures have hit boxes. If I stand still here, these chickens will actually push me around. So that's really annoying. So I don't think I'll ever take a dog with me 
anywhere in the game because especially any kind of dangerous places or uh, any place with, you know, one block wide ledges, because they'll push me off. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm not even moving. The chickens are pushing me around the room. That's, that's how annoying this is. Now that it's dark, let's hit the old sack before something hits us. And to bed with us! There we go. I don't know if I showed you what was down that hole, by the way. Uh, again, don't remember. So the bathroom. Decided I would store all of the villagers in a secret compartment down here. Nothing creepy at all about that. And I made this happy little dungeon slash... There's an Enderman down here. Where are you? I'll murder you. He's somewhere. Anyway, bunch of trades here. Uh, I forget what a lot of them are, actually, not gonna lie. Using this chest to store stuff. Um, yeah, so that's what this area is. It's cute. It's cozy. Forward the prison. I'm debating adding a half slab up here just to help protect the villagers in case a zombie somehow spawns or gets in here. But we'll leave that for now. I'm not that paranoid. Well, they are kind of loud, so I might not mind if a zombie kills them. We'll see. Um, okay, guys. This, this is awesome. I have made an amazing discovery. I found horses. I think I went the wrong way. I got mixed up. I think it's negative I want, not positive. Because uh, I've been out in, you know, not extreme hills. Very opposite of extreme hills. We got this awesome little guy here. He's just going. He's quite fast. I'm very impressed with him. Although I don't know how well he jumps. Let's see here. Can he do three? Can I use him right? Yeah, he can do three. He's not bad, actually. I don't mind him. What do you like? And I look, they make a noise now. Feed him. Feed him. Oh, right away. Who is... Give me that. Ooh, you're fast, too. Oh, dude, you are, like, Superman fast. Yeah, I'm taking you. Hey, stay there and raise your kid good, okay? I'm gonna come back. And... That was awkward. Anyway, we're off. We are... Well, actually, we got the harm. Take that with us. So yes, found these horses, brought them back, got some armor, we're ready to go, and I don't remember how to get back to where, I think we want, yeah, we want to go back towards zero. So we're going to head this way. Man, this is going to be awesome having a horse. Anyway, I'll see you, oh God, see you guys in just a sec. And welcome back, guys. It's actually been quite a, hmm, chunk loading error. A lot of those in 1.9. I really want them to fix it. It irritates me to no end. That anyway, minor errors. So, I've been busy while you've been gone. I've uh, been mining out as much coal as I can. I've basically been raiding the area I can for clay. I've decided that we're going to go with bricks. Uh, simply because I've got a little chest here, right above the area where we're going to build. I think that block is going to mark the, the house. But if you look at brick... Using the texture pack I have, I really like the look of brick. Like, it's more of an earthy color. It's not so, um, like, childhood f fire truck red kind of color that it normally is, the, the white mortar. Um, I really like it. I should not be using my good pick. Um, so, yeah, I'm. we're going to go with that. I think we're going to use that for the roof. So that even outside the texture pack, it's still... It's going to stand out. But, yeah, we got... We got lots of clay to, to fire through. Um, I've been growing trees, because I've decided... We're actually going to build in... For those of you who watched the first season, we're going to build a house very similar in style to the one we built previously. I think it's going to fit the area. It's probably going to be a roundish roof on top of it, just to help it stand out a bit, I guess. 
but one of the things we're gonna have to do is get up there um, and we're gonna have to start just placing blocks also I'm in desperate need of food um, yeah gonna start starving so I've got a oops field of potatoes over there I'm growing mushrooms over there we've got carrots growing right up there wheat and then I've been I've got a nice little gathering of sheep just over there managed to trap into a natural pit and yeah I'm gonna breed them and eat mutton and shave them for for wool because we'll be using white wool for the walls I think um, got a food chest here and as you can see, I've also been taking the tunnels and converting them into... That's what I'm still in the process of. Just adding down the, the half slabs and the stairs. I like it. It adds character to the area. It isn't just boring gray. Um, it also stops mob spawning, which is awesome. Who, who can't get enough of things not killing them? I'm going to convert this to grass and maybe... I'll probably slope this back a bit. Just to keep it a little more natural. Might create a little bridge down here. We'll see. Like I said, it's a... Uh, we're going to work on this area. I I still actually haven't... Despite killing Endermen left, right, and center, haven't been able to get more than one... Uh, one Ender Pearl. So, yeah, I've got the Blaze Rods. I just need the Ender Pearls. And that's really the slowest thing right now. So, I think what we're going to do at the moment... Mm, Let's grab some cobble, and maybe just flush out where we're going to put it. Dirt would probably be easier, but I don't think we have enough dirt. But we've got... Yeah, we've got boatloads of cobble. So let's put... Mm, three stacks should be enough. Coming along nicely. Really should make charcoal. Um, hmm. I just had a thought. We're going to be awfully high up there, so we have to be careful. I just actually realize that. Should have realized it sooner, but... Yeah, I think if we place a cobblestone base around, we can actually see what it looks like. Gives an idea of what's going on. Why can I not... There we go. Apparently my timing is off. So yeah, I hope you guys are good. Like I said, it's been a while, actually, since I last start was recording this episode. Um, yeah, it's actually almost a full week later. I'm not close enough. I played in two Magic pre-release tournaments, which was awesome. The first one, I ended up placing... Sorry. Can't think and place blocks. Uh, ended up placing seventh, which isn't bad. I mean, that's respectable, right? Uh, can I not... No, I can't. I gotta... Hmm. We'll see how this looks. Yeah, it came in seventh in the, the first one, which isn't bad. Walked away with prize. And then... Hmm. At Tree Guru. My other one was a format called Two-Headed Giant, which I played with a buddy of mine. And we ended up placing first, because we kick butt. Actually, uh, yeah, no, we kick butt. That, that, that's all I'm going to say. We were technically undefeated with our three wins and... Oops. Three wins and a tie. Technically undefeated. I mean, we, we didn't lose, so it, that's a technical, technical win. Give me that. Um... Hmm. This is really awkward to place. Well, that was bad. Come on. Come on. Okay, so that'll be about the area, I think. Or should we bring it over more? I think we should bring it over more. Yeah, and I'm still not sold on the idea. My initial thought was to do something... Uh, let's actually flush it out here. If you guys ever get a chance when you're building, definitely suggest just roughing it out with something. It makes it a lot easier. 
be it cobblestone, dirt, uh, wood, whatever you want. Um, hmm. That was terrible. How did I do that? But yeah, we ended up placing first, uh, playing two-headed giant. For those of you who have no idea what two-headed giant is, it's basically uh, in Magic a two versus two style of of play. Uh, I think I think that makes a nice round-ish. Totally failed at. Yeah, let's see that from from below. Nope. Break that one. We'll get that in a minute. Now, we could take the fast way down, but I don't think we're going to survive the fall. We don't have feather falling boots. They're just regular boots, and that, that will kill us. So let's see if my initial idea of the, the round house works. We're going to want to see this from a distance. That could work, actually. They just kind of would poke out. You can kind of imagine it coming out and over. I want to get rid of that one little block hanging down. I think what I'll do, actually... Yeah, I think design-wise what we're going to do is... My initial thought was to create the illusion of supports with, uh, with logs, do something like a... T on the end, and then uh, that, 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 and do something like that to, to create the illusion of a, a support structure underneath, and I still might do that. The cobblestone should be uh, uh, logs, just to, actually, do we have, we have, I won't make you guys use your... Imagination too much. I don't want to blow your brains out. Come on. Could be hard, right? Having to use your imagination. Uh, let's... Uh, and... Boop! And... We'll probably do this out of uh, spruce wood instead of oak. But that kind of idea where... And that idea, and then you'd have the... Um... Okay, I'm utterly failing at this, so please, please humor me here as I do terrible. It's not the, the easiest to walk, talk, and chew bubble gum, especially for me on so little sleep. I don't actually sleep for magic tournaments. I get excited. It's like Christmas. I want to sleep, but I can't. I'm kind of dumb that way. I should probably sleep right now, because otherwise mobs are going to kill us. But the, the kind of idea that of this... And actually, I don't think I like that now that I'm looking at it. Hmm... I don't think I like that. It's a neat idea, but I kind of like the... Take a step back. Yeah, I really don't like that now that I'm looking at it. Especially if we're going to go with a more round-style house. Hmm. I'll figure all of this out. Next episode, I will show you guys the rough shape. I'll, I'll rough it out with the wool and... Because that'll probably be the cheapest and easiest thing. Um, make some shears to cut through quick. But I will work on that off camera. And in the meantime, I will continue to stay awake through the night. in the hopes of Oh, there's a villager. Hi, buddy. Can we hit him from here? Let's end the episode with a miracle shot. With a miracle shot. Miracle shot. Oh, God, I'm terrible at this. Yeah, we hit him. Oh, we actually killed him. Nice. Anyway, I'm going to get those arrows. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Until I see we can... Oh, there's zombies over there. Run! Run! You know what we need to do? We're going to sleep. Yep. All the evil is coming. So. You know, that doesn't actually work while you're sleeping. Until I see you again. Hope you guys 
I have enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys had a great day, because I've had a great day. But I'm going to get to work. I just wanted to talk to you briefly as to what was going on. And as always, thank you very much for watching. And take care of yourselves. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Mm, oh! Uh, before I forget, almost, almost forgot. Hope you guys liked the new intro. I had uh, friends of mine design it. They They got back to me on it. Uh, the one is a fr uh, friend of mine named Amy. She ended up creating the animation for it, which I absolutely love. It is amazing. Um, i got to switch out of that view. It's killing me. And the music was actually done by Grenoir. Uh, I know she's not happy with the music. She is always the perfectionist, and I respect that about her very much uh, because I'm a perfectionist myself, so I understand that frustration. But I do enjoy the song very much, and I hope you guys like the intro. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, I absolutely love it, but I do want to hear back from you guys. So let me know what you think, and until I see you, next, until I see you again, take care. Bye-bye. Mm,